Hello, YouTubers. Hope y'all having a very blessed day because God's good all the time, all the time. God's good. Amen. I just want to make a video about what got my interest in ham radio. Some people ask me that. You know, one person actually said, what got your interest in ham radio? Well, first off, you know, to talk to other people, I want to help other people. And plus, backup communications in case bad weather. Because, you know, uh, Skywarn, they use uh, ham radios. Um, if you're not a ham licensed person, you still could be a Skywarn person. Uh, you just have to use a cell phone to call it in or something like that. But it, it's probably good to have the ham radio as well. Just to be on the safe side. But, you know, July 6th, I'll be a ham radio for operate for four months. And I really enjoy this hobby. I do got my Jim RS license, but I haven't too much fun on ham. I'm going to tell you, once you get on there, like, you're like, you're not even thinking about Jim RS no more. You're just like, because you got so many, so many repeaters to talk on. And you're like, man, if. If I could talk, I mean, I've got a plenty in my radio right now. It's like, it's amazing how I, I got more than what I think there's about four DMRS repeaters. Thinking, yeah, four, maybe five. Uh, so it's, yeah, once you get on a hand band, you're like, yeah, because you're going to different repeaters and talking to different people. And it, it's fun. And, you know, people say, well, you need to do many radios. You know, HTs, for example. Well, it's just in case if the battery dies on the other one, if you don't got a backup battery, you just grab your other HT. Why would you need these other? Well, it's just a hobby. That's the fun part is I see people doing, I know, field days this weekend. Uh, I ain't going to tend that, but I may listen to see if anybody's talk on the VHF bands or UHF bands as well. See if there's anything going on there. I know <clears throat> some people does the 40 meters, uh, sometimes the 10 meters, 12, uh, 16. It's it's just, yeah, ham radio's got a bunch of bands. I mean, it's, it's cool. I mean... Um, I will sometime upgrade my general. Am I gonna get my extra? Maybe not. I'm just, I just, I just want to stay at the general after when I upgrade. But I read because you need to get your feet wet. Get attacked, be attacked. Get your feet wet on the uh, two meters, seven centimeters. Um, the one two point five centimeter, the two hundred some band. I call it the uh, two twenty band, the two twenty megahertz band, and. I heard I got a radio that I talk probably. It's probably these ball things could pick it up too. I actually heard a guy was talking on that frequency. I'm like, what? But I couldn't transmit because I ain't got the antenna for it. So if they do got a tri band HT antenna on Amazon, I saw it. But it's fun. I've been talking to some people. I have not, I have so far have not ran into a sad ham yet. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on i've seen videos too where these people uh, okay why are they put doing nets on hf bands that don't make no sense no to me why are they doing it on the hf bands i know maybe on the uhf vhf bands but daggum hf bands because there ain't no repeater so you know, what if it's, you know, why are you doing a net where someone's, you know, doing CQDX or someone's calling another state and they reply back and they get rude about it? Ham radio is supposed to be a fun hobby. Don't be a jerk and say, I don't, you don't know and don't own the frequency. I don't own the frequency. You get on there and talk. Now, some of these repeaters, they got that frequency for a reason. Because there's a reason why. Now, if there's a net going on, I, and they said there's an emergency, if it is an emergency, they cut the uh, net off and they're done. They're just. See, but if there's like a net going on somewhere else, and like, uh, I mean, really? 
Come on, y'all. I mean, you need to be happy that there's more people wanting to get in this hobby. Okay, I'm glad there's something called what youth on the air. That is cool. Get these kids on something like that instead of them getting on drugs, alcohol, of course, you know, want to mess around and do it before marriage. I'm just keep clean like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, if there's some, uh, if there's, I talked to a guy on our Peter. He told us about who uh, who talks on this one. He said we got. We got preachers, we got um, doctors, lawyers, and all, uh, air, you know, veterans, aircraft people, all that, all, see, that's cool because that's what him radio is about, it's from all walks of life, that's like me, it's, I'm a Christian, I do not deny my faith of Jesus Christ. I do not deny him. I don't push Jesus on nobody, but I will share my faith to you that I love him, love my family, and love my country, and love this hobby. That should be on shirt right now. I love Jesus, my family, my country, and my hobby. <laughs> That's a good one. So, yeah. I do not shove uh, Jesus down nobody's throat. I pray for you. I tell you that he loves you, and he does. And, you know, I'm that kind of lean back. I don't, you know, let me say it. Would you support this? No. I will love you, but I ain't going to support that. Okay? That's a difference. Okay? It's a difference. Do I support the Pride Month stuff? No, I don't. Do I pray for them people? Yes, I do. Do I hate them? No. I don't like what they support. Like if somebody, for example, is um, is addicted to stuff on the internet. Y'all know when I'm talking about the P word. Um, they need prayer as well. They need prayer like a straight person needs prayer. I'm just letting y'all know. That's the thing about this hobby is there's a lot of people on there. I don't know if they're Christian or not, but I will not shove Jesus Christ down nobody's throat. That's not how it works. That's not how it works whatsoever, okay? Because uh, <laughs> that's, what, that's what scares a soul off. <laughs> I just want to add that to that video, you know, just let you know. But I've been talking to some nice people, though. So, yeah, I mean, I'm all about, I mean, and the thing about this hobby, though, is, too, it's like there's somebody who wants, could, you can help them, and you can hear the conversations. I mean, someone's been in ham radio for a longest time, and they'll help you out as much as they can, you know. Um, you know, these newcomers, they want to know, it's like, hey, how you do this? I mean, some people's about, you know, in their 50s are getting into this hobby. Even some right now is in their 70s getting this hobby. You know, just getting into it now. I mean, I'm fixed to be 35 July 7th of this year, 2024. And, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of nice people in there. I, I mean, like I said, I haven't ran into a sad ham. They actually called the, there's a net on uh, Fisher's Peak. It's called the Daybreakers. Now, you throw your call sign out that you can talk to, and then they say they'll give you a verse of the day, which that's cool. I mean, that's if you if you want to go on that, uh, a uh, listen to that. But man, this is fun. <laughs> My friend Steve, who's got his ham last, he got his last year in December. But I told him, I said, man, I said, ever since I got my hand lines, I'm like, I've been off GMR. I mean, I'm telling you. I'm like, it's just something about, and let me tell you something, GMRS is good for family stuff, but when you get on this hand band stuff, you just, you're just like, you're not even thinking about it no more. I'm telling you, it's fun. It's good that you have your GMRS license. Use it for your family just in case. Um, but like I said, I've got my ham and Jim RS license. Haven't been tall on Jim RS? Nope. Not a lot no more. I've been like, 
I'm like, I've been staying on hand bands so much that I'm talking to other people, different frequencies. I'm like, man, I, okay, this, I got the National Calling Fruit. I got programmed some more frequencies in this radio. I got some more in on my HTs, but there's two that's in China, Grove, which that is about 40, about 40 miles. From my, I actually can hit that repeater off of HT with, I'm not even on a mountaintop either. And sometimes you could hit talk to people when the atmosphere is good. Um, I always put uh, VHF conditions. That's called D, uh, VHFDX.com or something like that. And it shows you the conditions. If it's red, that's really great. But um, I know on QRZ, they got... Um, when the bands open and close on like, you know, 10 meters, 12 meters, eight, all that good other bands out there, it tells you when the good time to talk on it. But I'm like, huh. So the sun can actually, the reason why <laughs> the bands could be open and closed could be due to the sun flares. But uh, we had that one uh, solar storm, it kind of. But people's like, what happens if, you know, that happens? We still can communicate, even though if that happens, you got some, it may not do as great, but you still can get out there. Now, I saw something cool, too, I like sometime down in the future. Uh, get that, what's it called? Prepcom. It's like a. It's like, I call this a CW keyboard thing. I look, I pulled that. I said, what if they ma made something like that? Sure enough, someone did. I'm like, oh, that is cool. People's like, that's not CW. That's not CW. You gotta do now, this, some people may not be able to understand, you know, do, 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 no, short, no, dot, long, dot, long, or, or short or long. And I've heard too, too, like, reading on like when people gets their extra they said do not let sad hands get to you saying that no, you're not an extra you didn't take the cw class there's people wants to learn that stuff so don't throw the newcomers under the bus be happy that we're coming and helping you know they may not join our club maybe some don't because they might be some grumpy hams in there they don't want to deal with they don't say, no, heck, freaking no. I'm not going to join this club. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> Why would you join a ham club and there's some of them are grumpy old get out? Now, some of them aren't grumpy, but if you have that, like, I don't feel like I'm a part of this, you know. Clubs are good to have, but loans are not grump butts. You know, now I'm, uh, what's called a, they call it the Vagabond Net. One I talk on, one they do nets. It's pretty cool. They give you the certificate too. And, and their pledge, it's good. It's nothing bad. It's actually, it's good. And um, then they mail you this certificate in. Because you got what's called a Vagabond number. And either if you want to become a Vagabond member or not, it's just up to you. If you want to be one, they give you a temporary number until you get your five check-ins for 30 days. And then when you check in the fifth time, you got to say the pledge. And then they'll mail you your Vagabond certificate. It's cool. Very friendly people. If you ain't got long to talk, just say on there in and out today. You just checked in, you're in and out. So, yep. So, yeah, I really enjoy this hobby. Y'all take care and God bless. Remember, y'all, that Jesus really loves you. He does. I want to say a prayer. Father God, in your son Jesus' name, Lord, just thank you for this day, Lord. Lord, whoever watched this video, Lord Jesus, just touch them, bless them, and even heal them as well, Lord. And Lord Jesus, show them that you love them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.